the philosophy of the power structure. The power structure is a self-contained entity. It has built walls around itself, constructed by language which appears foreign and impenetrable to the profane. The profane accept the power structure as its government because on its face, the power structure appears to provide. It provides schooling and welfare, housing and food stamps, social security and infrastructure. It also, however, provides ghettos. It permits liquor stores to serve every corner of the ghetto. It provides the stories for the media, and it provides obstacles which interestingly appear harder to hurdle with the less you have. It provides sanctions, punishments, and stiff penalties, codified and applicable to each and every failed attempt to overcome each hurdle. It provides cages and militant police to fill those cages and to freely, freely inflict their inner malice through excessive force. It provides weapons, nuclear weapons, missiles, drones, tanks, navy, and handheld firearms. It provides public disarmament so that they cannot adequately protect themselves, so that we cannot adequately protect ourselves. It provides courts that regularly infringe upon our right to due process. It provides propaganda clothed in believable literature and conflicting statements. It provides plenty of fear and then appears as a noble protector. It provides a bullet for the heart of the unarmed nuisance and immunity to the hand that squeezed the trigger. It provides long-term isolation in cold, dark prison cells. It's the initiator of the addiction and the punisher of the addicted, the supplier of the narcotic and the enforcer of the drug law. It provides a method for those with badges to harm those without them and then supplies judicial protections to the abusive badge. The establishment provides wars with foreign lands for reasons unknown to the men who perish fighting them. It provides secrets, taxes, inaccuracies, and transgressions, thefts, and crimes against humanity. The establishment provides pain and imprisonment, and it binds all things to documentary regulation, shackles of paper. Words, therefore, become an instrument with which the elite implement captivity of otherwise free humans. Simple words with encrypted meaning, foreign to the interpretation of the governed, and drafted to exempt the draftsmen. The profane are forced to obey their interpretation, though it's often incorrect and based on fear. The courts intentionally appear to intimidate the indigent litigant, while the affluent litigant often receives softer penalties. To have knowledge of law is to illuminate the mind of the unenlightened, because knowledge itself is power. The profane are enslaved by the letter.